Dr. Sunny here, and I wanted to take a moment now that you have completed the first module to help you make a plan and get organized towards completing your next speech. You have a better idea now of how long it takes to both prepare and practice your speech. And for the speech in the next module that we have coming up, I'm giving you some more time. The reason for this is that in this speech, I expect you to hit a higher level of presentation skills than you did in your toolbox speech where you're simply expected to check in and let me see you and let us hear you speak. So how do you approach this? The first thing that I recommend is of course going into grades and checking my comments to you on your toolbox speech, looking at all the details so that you can see what I commented. Something that's really important here is if I say before recording your next speech, you really need to take that advice. Although you may not have earned a poor score on this speech, the kind of things that follow before recording your next speech will usually result in you receiving a failing grade for your next speech. This is because they interfere with my ability to assess your facial expressions, your eye contact. Maybe it's really dark or maybe I can't hear you. So the first step is making sure you see what the comments are that could hold you back on earning the grades you want in future speeches. The next thing that I want you to do is to go beyond just the coming up and in this stream click on view calendar. And let's go over this together really quickly so we're all on the same page of what is due and what to expect. And we'll all just wait awkwardly together while the page loads. All right, so looking ahead, today is May 18th. On Monday, May 22nd, you have a quiz due, the glossophobia quiz. And you can always click on these to see more details on the assignment. You also have a discussion post due, scheduling rehearsals. And I encourage you to look at that early because it's not your average discussion post and it's gonna require some preparation ahead of time. Then you have an entire week before you have anything else due. Although I don't recommend you wait that long. On Monday, May 29th, the delivery quiz is due, um, the New York Times dialect bonus if you choose to complete it, and also a video discussion on facial expressions. Additionally, your glossophobia speech and your self-evaluation are due at that time. Right after that, the very next day, your transcription extra credit is due, and the day after that, your peer evaluations and extra credit giving feedback on module two is due. You can keep moving ahead and see what's due after that, but I wanted to give you some sort of explanation. If I were approaching these tasks myself, what I would recommend is as soon as possible you complete not just the quiz and discussion that are due on the 22nd, but I would suggest completing also by that date the delivery quiz and the facial expressions video discussion. Then I would get started right away on preparing and practicing the glossophobia speech. This will give you plenty of time to um, get that speech to the level where you want it to get the grade that you deserve and the grade that you desire. If you have any questions, please let me know. Remember from the course homepage, there is a link to frequently asked questions. If you have a non-personal question, you can post that there. I look forward to seeing your next speeches. Your first ones really impressed me. And if you did well, be sure to look at my comments. I've asked many of you to send me your original files so I can add them to my model student ambassador speeches. Take care.